What's happening, everybody? I'm Sonny, and this is Gravel. Gravel is brought to you by Milestone, the studio based in Italy and basically known for racing games. This is a little bit different to what they're used to putting out. They usually put out very serious games, um, motorbike games, rally games. Uh, most recently, they brought out Monster Energy Supercross. But this is an off-road game, uh, off-road racing, arcade style and on first impressions I absolutely love it there's different game modes we've got uh, off-road masters which is like the story mode slash career mode we've got free race which pretty much speaks for itself multiplayer again and also time attack what I'm going to show you today is the off-road masters this is centered around a fictional channel called Gravel Channel. Okay, which is the main bulk of the presentation within the game. There's so many tracks on this game spread across really great looking locations. The graphics are good. It's a really great looking game. Um, I was very impressed fresh out the gates with it. No 4K, no PlayStation 4 Pro enhancements slash Xbox One X enhancements. But in my opinion, the game looks so great that it doesn't really need those 4K bells and whistles. I think what I like about this game the most is just... It simply throws you in there. Straight from the, the press of the options button to get into the game from the main menu it throws you straight into a career mode race to set you up for the rest of the game with very minimal tutorials as well so it sort we of you a spectacle and we shows you keep our here that R2 time. is accelerate, it's L2 is brake, the touchpad format. on the PlayStation 4 Extreme controller motors, is to change the and camera drivers. and the one L1 word, will use a masters. rewind feature. Now as you can hear possibly as I was talking over the top of it there is like a, a TV style announcer before and after every single race now if you look to the right of the screen you unlock stars for completing objectives within the race so complete the race just one star fifth two stars finish at least third gets you the three stars now the, the stars will allow you to progress within the story you do unlock XP and you level up your character if you look in the bottom right there uh, I currently have uh, a level 7 racer uh, I've been playing sort of just free races to get used to the game and I really really like it so let's get into it there are even more drivers in the title hunt this year perhaps there's even a new off-road master amongst them stay strong now we're getting serious so as you can see I mean as soon as you you know start driving the, the, the courses are really really great looking it's exciting to play. The core mechanics are absolutely superb, which of course you would expect from Milestone being, you know, masters of the racing game essentially. It's fast. It's super exhilarating to play. And I, I'm super impressed. I mean, to be honest, with so many great racing games out there at the minute on the, you know, the current batch of consoles, I was expecting to just put this game on, do this let's play, say something about it, and probably never go back to it. But uh, that isn't going to be the case at all. Uh, so, you know, as soon as I did that first race, uh, I was super impressed and was just hooked instantly. Trophy hunters will be happy to know that the Platinum Trophy does seem very obtainable with minimal amount of effort. Uh, I've obtained a number of the trophies just from playing for about an hour or so this morning. And looking at the Platinum Trophy and what you need to do to obtain it, I think the more grindy stuff is leveling up your driver and also 
uh, obtaining all the car skins and cars within the game. But otherwise, it seems pretty straightforward. As you can see just from me playing here, the, the game just handles so well. And it's not like a an effort to play either. You know, like some some racing games are, they just they just feel sluggish and not very enjoyable. This is nothing like that. This is just super fun straight away. This 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 you know could appeal to casual gamers and hardcore racing fans alike. Uh, of which I am the former. I have the AI difficulty on medium, but even with that, you, you get a you get a really good race out of the AI. You're not panning them every race or anything like that. You know it, and on the different terrains, of course, it's a bit more difficult to master. So you get an even better race out of it. So again, suited to the casuals and the hardcore racing game fans out there. The aim of the game bad, is, the is to earn the title game. of Off-Road Master. This was just the start. What awaits you this season will leave you breathless. With the first race, the first show points of the season will be earned. Will so there it is to the right of the screen there. You earn different things, um, different amount of XP for the different things you do within the race. So whether it's you know maintaining high speed for a certain amount of time, uh, maintaining jump, There's different types of racing arena on this as well. So you have your, you know, exotic location. But you also have like a, an arena, like a like a dirt arena, much like you would have seen in Monster Energy Supercross. That that kind of thing. And I'm about to show you that now. Loading times are absolutely fine. No real issues there. I've not found any real issues within the game at all. It looks all great, it sounds great, it plays great. Enthusiasm of a packed out stadium. I couldn't imagine anything more exciting if I tried. Okay, so we're using a, a different style vehicle here, something a, a little bit bigger. I forgot to mention as well, there's different types of races, so it's not just straightforward, go out there and and just drive around until you've won. And there's elimination matches. Uh, there's like sprint races, straight up lap races like this one. So again, it is pretty varied, which I think is great. There's basically different bosses as well. As you progress through the story, uh, there's uh, they call them special races, and there's uh, some full motion video at the beginning of the season mode that basically shows you uh, the real drivers in the game who have uh, earned the title of off-road masters previously, and you take them on at different points during the course of the career mode. And there we go, first again. Excellent. It's very easy to pick up this game. 
Uh, I think if you played on a more difficult, so many years as a commentator, difficulty setting, always managed to leave me speechless. There's going to be uh, some trickiness involved for certain, but I think that's obvious, really. So as you can see, they're unlocking tracks and uh, car skins as we progress through this. So I'm going to show you one more race. I have now unlocked episode 2, but of course, you want to finish everything before you move on, right? So let's show you Alaska. And again, we'll go, we'll go with a different style of car, a Mitsubishi ASX. So again, all licensed vehicles, which is great. So this is a straight up sprint race. One of my favorite types of racing racing games. This is actually my favorite course I've played so far as well, Alaska. It's really, really great looking. Especially when you get to drive through the caves. As you can, sh as you can see there at the side, on the right hand side of the screen, um, it shows you what each stage of the course looks like. We wanted to give you a spectacle worthy of the name, and we've done it. We've organized a race which will leave you breathless here in the Alaskan mountains. To the off-road fans watching out there, you're on Gravel Channel. Stay tuned. You won't regret it. So as well as being a sprint, this is also a checkpoint race, so you have to race through the checkpoints. Pretty self-explanatory, I know. So here we enter the uh, the caves. I love that there is different parts of track like this. I mean, some racing games can be very boring uh, and feature just track races or very in uninteresting tracks that are just filled with grass and trees. I'm glad that this game has mixed it up and give us some really great scenery in some really gorgeous locations. So if you look here, coming up to the radar, you can sort of branch out a little bit. Not, you know, open world or anything like that, but it does have different routes you can take to hit your checkpoints. As you can see there in the top of the screen, uh, I'm earning XP for high speed. Uh, as I previously mentioned, you sort of earn stuff like that during the course of each race. Super accelerating, super fast. And there we go. Let's enjoy this race together and don't be too sad. Off-Road Masters is back next week, always and only here on Gravel Channel. So that is Gravel. What Milestone have given us here is a incredibly fun off-road racing game 
arcade style that will appear appeal to racing game hardcore fans to casual fans like myself uh, i wasn't expecting much but i'm happy to highly recommend this game don't sleep on it if this does well i think milestone can build on it and this could become a really great franchise going forward i hope this video gave you a basic idea of what you can expect from gravel if you have any questions hit me up in the comments but thank you so much for watching i'm sunny like subscribe share and we'll see you next time guys take it easy goodbye